Hi friends, today we are gonna see how to do the mail merge using Microsoft Word. So for this example, we'll be using two files. One is a file made in uh, Microsoft Word and it is titled for our example as letter mail merge and it just contains a, a simple letter which I have drafted so that we don't waste time in typing the letter and the second file which we are having is an excel file which is titled as data mail merge in this file i have already entered the names of people whom we would like to mail merge example first name last name address for line one address for line two city state and pin code so friends, let us see how to mail merge using the Excel file as well as the Word file. So to start the process, we first start Microsoft Word and open the file in which our letter is present. Then we click on the mailings option in the menu. And in the mailings option, you have start mail merge. So I click over here and I select the simplest that is step by step mail merge wizard. Once I click over there on the right side I will get a menu where it asks me what type of document are you working on. Is it a letter, email, envelope, labels or directory. So we select letters and we click on next. Then it asks us, select how do you want to set up your letters. So I will say use the current document, that is the file in which our letter is present. And I proceed to the next step. Next is an important step wherein it asks, where are the recipients located? So I will say use an existing list and I'll click on browse and specify the location where my Excel file is present. So let me take it to the location where the Excel file is present. I click on the Excel file containing the names and addresses and click on OK. So in a short while you will see it will ask me that the Excel file has three sheets which sheet you would like to use. So obviously my addresses are only on the sheet one. So I select sheet one and I click on OK. Now it asks me, do you want to select all addresses or do you want to sort them or do you want to filter them or specific recipients, etc. In this example, we'll select all the recipients. So we click on OK. And then we click on next. So here it asks me write your letter. If you have not already done so, write your letter. But in our example, we have already done it. So the next option is preview your letters. So I click on preview your letters. And uh, okay. So we have selected preview our letters. However, we cannot see the names over here. And the reason for this being we have not specified the location where these names should come. So what we do is we are going to select an option called as address block. And this is a format in which the addresses will be inserted in each letter. You can just click on next, next to see the same. And I click on OK. So the address block is inserted. And now I can just go and see the next letter. And we'll see that the names and the addresses are changing. Okay. If you would like to have some special option like dear and the first name of the person. So you can say dear. And after that, click on Insert Merge Field, select the first name, and give a comma. 
Now, as you scroll, you will see that the first name is also substituted over here along with the addresses. Once you are done with this, the next step is complete the merge. So in complete the merge, you can, if you are connected to a printer, you can already say print. If no, you can click on edit individual letters, select all records and click on OK. So you will see each letter coming on a separate page. So friends, uh, now we have completed main merge and hope you have understood this well. I would be very happy to listen to your comments and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a great day ahead friends. Bye.